Hi, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking about the introduction to topology. For those who have been here for my channel for a very long time, thank you so much for your support. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Before I'll start, I would just like to make a disclaimer that this uh, is a topology. This subject is one of the uh, fundamental core in the area of mathematics. So I would just like you to know that um, this video is not to scare students in math. In fact, this video is a supplement video for those who are seeking wider understanding and explorations in the area of mathematics. What is topology? Well, topology is the study of properties of spaces that are invariant under any continuous deformation. In other words, um, topology is like a rubber geometry in the sense that we're actually dealing with geometric figures or objects and uh, we can stretch or contract that like a rubber. Let's say, for example, you have a square. Yeah, well, a square can be deformed into a circle without printing it. So that's the idea of topology. Now, for the topology, um, it's actually relatively a new branch of mathematics. In fact, the many researches of topology have started back in 1900s, and which introduces a lot of area like uh, combinatorial topology or the general topology or point set topology. We also have the algebraic topology and we also have the... Um, differential topology. However, in this video, we will be focusing on the introduction of, to general topology. Okay, so we will start now discussing on topology. So a topology on a set X is a collection tau, so I'm sorry with my symbol for tau, of subsets of X having this one. The MT and the X should be in tau, the union of the elements of any subcollection of tau is in tau, and the intersection of the elements of any finite subcollection of tau is also in tau. So that is actually the requirement for us to declare a certain topology. So in the event that the x together with this tau um, is actually topology, we call that um, a topology called space. However, if there is no confusion arise, instead of writing that, we may write this one here as topological space. Now, if x and the tau is a topological space, then we say that a given u subset of x um, is open in x if this u belongs to the collection tau. So if this u belongs to tau, then um, that's an open um, subset of x. So let's consider this example here. So suppose we have the x containing uh, three elements a, b, c. Now, um, these figures, um, there is um, nine figures, represent the uh, illustration for topology. So why is that? It's because, let's uh, check for example here. Um, this is actually the uh, the the set containing ABC. So there, technically, your tau here is actually the empty and the X. Your X, remember, is the set containing ABC. Now, um, of course, uh, condition one is satisfied because of the presence of tau and X. Now, if you pick the element, I mean the subset of this, I mean the element of this tau. So if you take the um, the union of empty and x, you get x. If you take the intersection, you get empty, and they're all present in tau. Meaning to say that this tau is actually a topology. Uh, let's pick this one here. Okay, um, Okay. Uh, I'm going to rewrite that here. So that's a, and then b, and c. So meaning your tau is the set containing empty, the x, um, the set containing A, um, the set containing A and B, and just just it. So um, the present of MT and X satisfies condition one. Now, if you take the uh, union of um, A and AB, you get AB, and it's still present in tau. If you take the intersection of A and AB, you get A, and it's present in tau. 
So whatever you do, whether you do the union or intersection of all the elements present in tau, they're all present in tau. So therefore, this tau here for the figure two is actually a topology. Now, if you have question or clarification, you can comment down there. And I want you also to double check the rest of this figure, um, whether they're actually topology or not. Maybe um, I mistakenly uh, draw this figure. But I think as far as I know, as far as I can see in here, they're all topology. Yes, because they qualify certain characteristics. I mean, the condition for a topology. Now, if we will double check this last two figure here, um, I'm going to rewrite this one here. Um, this tau here is the empty, the x. We have the set containing A, the set containing B. Okay, now um, empty and x are actually present in tau, so condition 1 is satisfied. Now, however, the set containing A and the set containing B, if you take the union for that, you get the set containing AB. But you wouldn't see any of this set here in this um, tau, so which means to say it doesn't qualify condition 2. Therefore, this is not a topology. Same with this. If I'm going to take, um, if I'm going to write this as set, this is empty, this is X, this is AB, and you have BC based on the figure. If I'm going to take the intersection of AB and the BC, you get the set containing B, and you don't see set containing B in tau. Therefore, this is not a topology. So let's consider another example here. Um, the set X containing A, B, C, D, E. So we will double check if these taus here are topology or not. So let's start with tau sub 1. Well, um, the present of x and mt satisfies condition 1. If you take the union of this, you get a, c, d, and this is present here. If you take the union of these three, you get um, this still here. If you take the union entirely, you get the x. If you take the intersection, that's all present in there. So you might want to double check this tau sub 1 here is topology. Tau sub 2, let's just find something, a condition that would dissatisfy either of the three conditions for topology. And that would be enough for us to jump into conclusion whether it's um, if that is not a topology. Because I have a feeling this is not a topology. What if I take the union of um, this one here? So if you take the union, you get a b c d now you wouldn't see a b c d in this tau sub 2 so therefore tau sub 2 is not topology for tau sub 3 i'm gonna take the union as well here oh, okay the union is this one so it's present what if i'm gonna take the intersection instead of this one and this one so if i'm gonna take the intersection here i get the single tone d and you don't see single tone d in tau sub 3, which means to say this is not topology. Okay, so let's consider another example. It says here that if x is any set, the collection of all subsets of x is topology on x. So which means to say all possible subsets of x, or shall we say in set theory, that's a power set of x. So in this case, this contains all possible subsets. So that means the empty is there, the x itself is there and the, all the possible uh, subsets of x and if you take the intersection of all those subsets there's still also subset of x and if you take the union they're all still sub subset of x that means to say it the um the collection of all subsets satisfies to be a topology in fact uh we call the such thing here as discrete topology but in the event that um your tau contains only the empty and the x. And remember, this is a topology. We've shown that on the first figure on the previous example. We call this as indiscrete topology or known as trivial topology. Okay, so we will show another example here. So let x be a set. And then this t sub f collection is a collection of all subsets u of x such that x minus u either is finite or is all of x. So it's collection of all subsets of x. This is actually a topology on x and it's in fact called a complement topology. But we will show why this becomes a topology. So uh, first is observe that x minus x because x is a subset of 
um, x. So x minus x, this is empty, and this is finite. Remember, um, empty set is a finite set. And x minus uh, empty, that's equivalent to x, and it's all of x. So therefore, um, x and empty here are in T sub m. If this u sub alpha is an induced family of non-empty elements of tau sub f, then um, we will show that the union of u sub alpha is actually in tau sub f. So um, this x minus the union of um, u sub alpha, um, remember uh, this is actually the intersection of x minus u sub alpha. This is actually um, obvious and it's basic in set theory that if a set X minus the, un the union of um, arbitrary set, you'll get the intersection of the difference. So that's actually in the set theory and it's basic to prove. Now remember that uh, u sub alpha is already in tau sub f. So meaning to say that x minus u sub alpha is already finite. So the intersection of finite is indeed finite. So this is already finite. So therefore condition 2 is satisfied. Now let's double check condition 3. So x minus the intersection of ui so this is finite um intersection only so that's one to n so remember i can write that by x minus ui um i from one to n so this is basic set theory that if you um if a set is subtracted by the intersection of this set this is technically the union of the difference so this is actually finite and you take the finite union of finite sets that's technically finite that's basic set theory again so therefore this is an element of tau sub f this one eh, is an element of tau sub f this also an element of tau sub f so therefore conditions one two three are satisfied meaning to say that this t tau sub f is a topology and this is called complement topology that's it now um given that we have x to be any set um we call tau sub c the collection so this is collection of all subsets u of x such that x minus u either is countable or all of x so earlier we've shown that tau sub f such um is a topology wherein it is a collection of um subsets u of x such that um um x minus u is either finite or all of x however in this example instead of finite we change that into countable so our question is tau sub c is a topology well i want you to solve on that and let me know if that is a topology by writing on the comment section below if you have any questions or clarification you can comment or let me know so that uh, we can discuss that i just want you to know that this is actually pretty basic again this is not to scare you about math but to encourage and to let you explore the wonders in math that's it so that's all for now thank you so much for watching so if you have any question or clarification you can comment down there so thank you guys and hope to see you soon for this topology series have a great day